the biggest and best photographic exhibition in the world. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it feels to be here. So, uh, you know, well, it could be a bit of an exaggeration, but uh, the nightclub um, photographic club is it's an exceptionally proud day for us, a very special day. We work very hard. Uh, we work very hard on this, and as I say, we are very proud. Mark it myself says, Moose it all. So we are focused more on the creative side 
But we said that creativity in the position is not Photoshop. So we have many people say, oh, I can't do what you do. I'm not creative. To translate, they mean they don't know how to work Photoshop. And we are saying, that's not for us what creativity is about. For us, creativity is about the way we see things and the way we think about things. The definition of creativity is to come up with something new, something unimagined. And that's what we're striving to do. And in the quest to do that, we've seen our members grow, both in numbers and in skill. And today, us, the council, myself, we'd like to celebrate two specific individuals for their dedication over the last 12, 18 months with us. We've watched them grow immensely in terms of skill and where they're at today. And I'd like publicly to acknowledge and ask you to show appreciation to the hard work. Firstly, to Grace Ramondo, if you would come forward, and to Warwick. <laughs> and then encouraged. I mean, you know, one person thinks they are the only person that called in, but lots of us called her, and she kept on encouraging, giving her the best. And I just, giving her a small token, but I think she needs to be acknowledged uh, for this. I mean, this is fantastic. If you look at the works, it's fantastic. But you need one instigator. And then I acknowledge you for that on behalf of the others. It's not that I have the last <laughs> 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 All right. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, it's done. Okay, three. <laughs> so, how does it feel to see you wake up? Uh, actually, in an environment like this, wonderful. Um, there's nothing like it to have a new work in exhibition. And it's so nice to be around with everybody else. There's some incredible stuff here. So, a very enjoyable evening. Thank you. Thank
Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Um, it, it's, it's good to see all these faces here and, and people that I only really sometimes see on, online. Uh, good to eventually meet you this afternoon. I just have a, a few words of thanks to a few people. Uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, Orms and uh, especially the ladies at the print room who, who are Liesel, Marilise and Olivia. Uh, a lot of the prints that you will see this afternoon uh, actually comes from Orms, so a big thank you to them. And then secondly, Camera World, you see the banners here, Camera World has also sponsored us. Uh, just want to say thank you to Camera World as well. And then thirdly, um, a friend of mine who's here this afternoon, I think he's around the corner there somewhere, Giuseppe, where are you? He's here. On the stage. Um, they are from uh, Ayama Sling uh, Wines. Um, and uh, I just want to say thank you very much for for you guys being here this afternoon. And when you go upstairs later, they are there in the corner, they're gonna serve you with some, some stunning wines. And if you've never been at Ayama, please make a turn there. Um, speak to the two of them. Uh, Kiara is actually the, the winemaker at the farm. So, uh, yeah. 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 Then I also just want to say, uh, say a big thanks to PJ Philippi Art School um, for you know, giving us the opportunity to be here, here in your, your uh, facility. Um, it's really great to be here this afternoon. And then lastly, just to, just to thank you, everybody who came from everywhere to be with us this afternoon. And I hope you will enjoy the, the rest of the afternoon. Thank you very much. <laughs> My first impression was, wow, the colors are different from my computer screen. Then I had a deep feeling of self-satisfaction to see, to see my artworks up on, on the wall and people standing, looking at your body of work. It was just amazing for me. I realized that um, they are looking at my masterpiece and um, my great reward and the sign of success for me is that i started something and i finished also it took us um, months to try answering to the question why to materialize the 
the response, you, my response, our responses through a how so that the viewer can comment your product. And uh, it brought me back to my reaction also when I stand in front of a masterpiece, when I stand in front of an artwork, an art piece, when I go to others' exhibition, uh, it might be photography or something else, that um, it, it was just it was just a good feeling and uh, I'm ready for the next exhibition. I love it. I love the whole exhibition and to do your own work mm -hmm. and hang it on the wall. It's something special. It's a really And what inspired you about this work here that we're looking at? Okay, so this work are uh, works that have come for a period of three years where I've worked with different people and I see different aspects of their lives. And uh, a photograph captured a moment in a person's life. And I'm fortunate enough that I can actually, lots of my models share this intimate moment of their life. And, but it's in conflict sometimes with the other life that they display to people. So I put those images together so you can see that uh, the interaction of the personalities, the internal personas of the same person. Wow, seeing my own photo children on a big wall gives me so much joy. Giving birth to them wasn't exactly pain-free all the time, but it was always very exciting and a wonderful 3D adventure. Working with them and helping them to become their own best selves was a wonderful privilege. Their individual journeys enriched me big time. Now they can hang on their own little strings and to me as the proud mother, they really shine. My own children with human feet always inspires me to make more photo children. A year ago, I was completely convinced that I'm not good enough to partake in, a, in an, in an ex exhibition. And over the year, I started thinking, well, maybe I could try. And at this stage, I'm at the point where I know it's not about being good enough. It's about just showing what you did. And um, so what it did for me was to change me, to change my thought process. It's about the joy of 
Having seen those things, I still get a tingling sensation down my spine. When I look at my own pictures, it might not be a good one, but I still feel what happened at that moment. And so um, I've been changed. How does it feel to see your stuff up like this? <laughs> it looks amazing, eh? What inspired you to do this? Your <laughs> wife. So, so tell us about your work here, Miss uh, Miss J P Nell. How do you feel about showing your work? Oh, I'm so excited! And just to be part of this, fantastic.
This is before the one. <laughs> well, I'm going to do it the modern way and do it with my phone. <laughs> It's, uh, it's absolutely amazing to see so many people attending on a, on a Saturday afternoon. And uh, uh, like a TV set there in the background when him and I were just having a quick talk now, there's probably this craving for, for this sort of get together. But yeah, now I've got to, I've got to read and talk and, uh, and I wrote here that it's, it is indeed very inspiring to see so many passionate photographers gathered here today. Uh, gathering of this nature are more than sort of just places to share images. It's a haven for, and this to me is the crucial point here, this is an absolute haven for artistic expression and growth. In this digital age, where a single click can capture a moment forever. Let's remember that our true strength lies in our unique viewpoints and creativity. Our unique viewpoints and creativity. It's just like each photograph tells a story and we are the storytellers of that. We don't just capture scenes, we capture emotions, stories, and memories. Photography challenges us to look at the world with a fresh perspective. As we compose our shots, let's heed the wisdom of those that have came before us, embracing the idea that the camera teaches us to see without it. Our lenses become extension of our imagination helping us to uncover the beauty <coughs> hidden within the everyday. <coughs> our diversity as a group of creatives is our greatest asset. Like explorers, <coughs> we step out of our comfort zones finding inspiration in the unknown. The spirit of adventure leads to growth, broadening our skills, and nurturing our creativity. Mastery in photography is a journey. It's not a destination. The early shots that didn't quite hit the mark, they were not failures, but they were stepping stones <coughs> towards improvement. Remember, every photograph <laughs> taken is a step closer to mastery. In the heart of each and every one represented here today lies a collective desire to <coughs> capture not just what is visible, but what is felt as well. As we frame our shots, let's remember that our images should reflect not only the subject, but the emotions and the stories woven into that. In conclusion, and I was under instruction to keep it short, <laughs> I think it is safe to say that photography is way, way more than just a hobby. It's a lifelong journey of self-discovery and storytelling. As we move forward, let's carry with us the spirit of the photography gurus who remind us that each click is an opportunity to create art. Thank you for being part of this incredible community and let's continue to inspire and learn from one another on the shared journey. Congratulations to Lynn and her ignited approach to <laughs> share, nurture, inspire and teach. I am convinced that through all of this, she's probably the one that learned the most. 
There is an adage saying that to learn, you need to teach. There is an, uh, thank you for your passion and your drive to keep photography alive. And may there be many, many more such instances, such as today, where we can learn from each other and collectively share our creative visions. Since the word Musa had been used before, <laughs> I'm saying now that this is really my Musa pleasure. <laughs> <laughs>